top hot weather perfume to wear this summer on Brandon Therapeutic Fragrance, a list that's been requested many times, but it's got to be my way. Hope you guys enjoy the video. We're going to have some twists and turn stuff you guys haven't seen on the other list. I'm sure of it. Uh, maybe some stuff you have, but for the most part, I just put myself through total horror on my skin, put over 500 fragrances on my skin last six months, of which of those maybe a couple hundred got reviewed or pretty much on the channel. So you guys don't have to. I was doing a composition study. Here are some of my favorites that I already had in my collection that still stand the test of time and some new ones I found uh, through that journey. Stay tuned for that. For the most part on my list, you're going to get value per ml like none other. Um, I, I am real hard on companies that go over three bucks an ml. Uh, they better have quality ingredients. It better not just be chemical juice that's going to be 70% discounted later on after it's new. Um, these are ones that should stand the test of time. People should smell different just like they look different. I strongly believe that. And now we're getting people creating fragrances out there that adhere to this, that are part of this. And I, I continue to seek them out. I'm finding them. I'm putting them on the channel. I'm giving them notice. That's what I'm about. Let's get into this list. All right. Everyone that stuck out with me, this is probably the most familiar that I'm going to give you. That's why I'm starting first. After that, we're taking some hard turns. Uh, this is an adult freshie. It's advanced. It's you or someone like you by Tat de Lebranche. And it's a uh, citrus aromatic, billed as a unisex. I'll put it as a unisex. It lasts uh, quite a long time. It's just... It's my kind of freshie. It's a growing up freshie. It has some nuances. It doesn't have a 10, 15 minute top. Yes, the citrus will leave after five minutes, but the, the base and the nastiness will stay with you. Not nastiness, but the crisp, the differences, the a bit of darkness. Um, but overall, this is about the freshest, the freshies I own. Besides my original Aqua de Gio bottle that I adore for reasons of when I was a teenager. But I'm not going to put that on the list for you guys and torture you. And it's so hard to get. Um, it doesn't. Today's Aqua de Gio doesn't even stand up against it at all. It, it's 12 hours on the skin. Today's is three hours on the skin. You could spray each arm and test it. I have. It's crazy. But you or someone like you. Modern take a freshie. It's modern twist. It doesn't blow up like soap all over your skin. They change it up with some anise and rose of all things and still keep it fresh. But those uh, two ingredients just keep it interesting, add enough interest for me to turn it up. I wear it, you can see that. It's got color to the juice. I'm a, on this channel, if you got color to the juice, I'm a big fan of that. Again, it doesn't have the suds, thank the Lord. Bergamot and lemon with some green notes open this beautiful fragrance. And then you start to get that rose and anise. Great fragrance to have in your summer collection and just a fresh, uh, dry down, not soapy on your skin. Six hours longevity for me, which is huge for a freshie. That's number one. Okay. I'm always going to try to keep my full bottles when I do lists. Uh, there will be caveats. There's two caveats on here. Get into this one. I will get grave. I have four Slumber House fragrances. I show them all the time. Um, I just wanted to put Slumber House on the channel for the, the what they did to this uh, piece. We're taking a big turn here uh, from Freshy. So, but this is growing up. This is unique. This is, uh, I mean, smell different. Take an adventure out there with you. You're going to get a mint like none other you've ever smelled. It features fur. 
it has that slumber house DNA softened, very softened. He was very, uh, it's probably hard for him because his other fragrances are so loud. Uh, it's a, it's very light, so you do have to like the slumber house DNA, but it doesn't shout, definitely a summer fragrance. And the mint that plays off the top is something to, to just be had. It's like a menthol and not a peppermint or anything. It's just a cooling fur. I mean, it's, if you see the bottles, they're blue. I don't know if the blue will pick up on that. Just lovely juice color. You barely pick up the blue, but if you look at the site, the blue. I will have a bottle of this. That's why it's here. Grave Slumber House. All right, now we're switching things up. We're getting a little crazy. Arbole, Arbole, hear him dream. If you follow me, you know I'm a big HG fan. I love what he's doing. This, this is 100% all natural, and yet it's, it's, it's a perfume. It's a, just a heavy duty perfume that <laughs> I got this because of patchouli. Well, and the juice color. And the juice. I'm not going to lie to you. Did you. Look at the juice. Come on. You got to own a green like that in your collection. If you're used to patchouli, you're not. You smell this, you're going to be. I want to blind test a bunch of people, not tell them what it is, and just see if they come up with notes. I don't think anybody would guess patchouli in this. That's how beautiful patchouli uses. That's how beautiful patchouli can be. It doesn't need to smell like the synthetic that is in every one of your bottles, designer bottles. I take this off. This is just, oh my gosh. Bubble gum, ice cream, patchouli. I'm not doing the scent justice in those terms. It's its own scent. There are reviews out there on it. I have a review on it. It is just its own accord. It's a beautiful perfume, perfect for the summer, perfect for just fun barbecue party days, playing Frisbee, whatnot. This is a must have to have in the summer collection. Next, got to feature a matriarch. I, I'll have a lot of all naturals on here because all naturals do not blow up on my skin. Uh, this is not all natural. She she puts the percentages. Usually she's above 95%. So she's just using a little bit of the, the synthetic to carry the fragrance, but heavy naturals in this. Taka Tatao, House of Matriarch. Another one that has its own accord. This is probably my favorite House of Matriarch base that is a nude. Um, when she uses it as a base, it's like none other with her with her uh, incense accord. This does not have an incense accord. It has a beach musk accord. It's my favorite base in the matriarch line. The top, yes, it is summer. You got to be in the mood. It's I believe Thailand uh, flowers. It to me, it's all beach. Also, I'd, I'd say the Thailand. Think of Asian flowers with beach. Um, I get a coconut vibe in it um, with not your Hawaiian uh, suntan lotion coconut. A, a slight bit of that's in there, but it, it's just beautiful florals. Um, bright, crisp fruit in there. It, it's a great fragrance. It, it's an island Asian floral. Best I can describe this just for the summer list. This is a must have. When I'm feeling down in the day, on gray days, I'll put this on and have my own beach party. Taka Tatao, it's matriarch. All right, the rabbit hole fragrance. If you check out Instagram, I talked about it on there. There's the list note of that. You can pause your screen, get a list note on something. Sun drunk, imaginary authors. Good or bad, it's what introduced me to the fragrance community. This, I open it up. This is one of those photorealistic things I talk about on my channel all the time. I remember exactly when I got this, my birthday last year, started wearing it like crazy. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do 12 to 15 sprays of this. Lasts for three hours. but the, And I'm okay with that. I'm okay that it doesn't turn into soap and stay on my skin for another three hours. Uh, I talk about that in fragrances. I don't want that. I hate that. I can't stand it. So I'll, I'll lose the money um, not having that dry down. I don't want that dry down. For me, again, it's a three-hour fragrance. I don't mind the reapplying or switching up to another fragrance. I'm a frag head, tons of fragrances. Um, I love switching up my fragrances. Just <sighs> Neroli rhubarb. Are you kidding me? Um, honeysuckle's a note that I'm starting to fall in love with. Big review coming up on that one. 
but Sun Drunk, imaginary authors. It'll probably always be in the summer list for just the memory maker it is. Uh, and, and what it did to my fragrance journey, getting me into the community. It's just straight out delicious. I mean, the imaginary note, delicious. The imaginary notes first kiss. It, 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 maybe that note said to me, I wore it. It, it, one of those memory makers like that. It sticks in the memory like that. Um, it's, it's just well done. I, I'm done with that. Let's move on. All right. My summer list. Um, I don't see a lot of people doing this, but I have to include a little tobacco in mine. So Atelier, Cologne, Tobacco Nui. Uh, th this is my, I could layer this with any fragrance on here. This is my layering king fragrance. Um, there's some citrus on top. You have to be there quick to pick it up before it's gone very quick. And, and the other notes just pop up. I literally got this 200 ml for less than 50 cents an ml. I got it for a still. I had to get it. And now it's it's definitely my layering king for summer. I, it's it's just it's tobacco. I don't let that fool you, but it's 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 lighter. It wears with anything. It goes with citrus. It goes with all these scents, heavy scents, and just changes them something more. Um, especially nighttime when you just want to liven things up. Um, I, I do lots of campfires. I always mention that I do. We we have fires all the time, sitting around and talk, maybe smoke a cigar, but we just hang out mostly. Notes on this one. Check this out. Italian clementine, coriander, cumin, labdanum, tobacco blossom incense, atlas cedarwood, Brazilian tonka bean, and Indonesian patchouli. So they're not, it doesn't have that over sharp patchouli note in there. You can barely make it up. Great fragrance overall on its own, but my layering king for the summer. Atelier, clone, tobacco and wheat. All right, we all ready for this? I have permission for this. Exclusive on the channel. Check this out. Boom, Flos Mortis, Rogue Perfumery. If you don't know Rogue, get to know them. Like I said, I'm gonna switch up my list. You're gonna learn some stuff. Here, you got to know Rogue Perfumery. This guy, <whistles> changing the game, changing the game. Okay, this this is an EDT. It, it's not your mama's EDT. It's your not, not, it might be your dad's EDT from the 80s. But today's EDT that you go buy from the store, don't let this fool you. This will just slap it silly, kung fu fight it like Bruce Lee and put it back to where it belongs in its little mall counter case. This thing is over 12 hours on my skin. Not kidding, EDT, 12 hours. Right now, just I can hear it, uh, feel it projecting like crazy as it just came out of this. Um, Let's get into the scent. Shipre, you, you men, women that love shipreys, here's your change up right here. Here's your summer change up. Here's your three month change up. That's why it's in the list. You guys that, you people that wear shipreys every day, it's coming. I don't have an official date. I do have when his two rows come into season, which is the 1st of August. I've already asked to be put on the list. So again, that's why it's a sample. I am gonna get a bottle of this. Okay, let's get it. This is two rows. I'm kind of giving away my full review already. <laughs> this is two rows like you've never had it. This is the manliest two rows you're gonna put on your nose. I, I couldn't believe when I put it on. I'm a two rows nut, I'm a two rows fan. Go look at my review of Blue, uh, Bruno Campara. This is not that. This is over 5% in the final ingredient, indolic tuberose. This is straight from the perfumer. And it's got that 80s, I wanna make sure I explain it right, taking a little more time, but this got the 80s dry down, that 80s uh, ship rate dry down, not, not oak moss, but um, I need to get the ingredient down. You'll know when you smell it, just that cologne. Man, you've smelled it on men before. Women that wear ship rays or that old cologne style, just that beautiful. I, I need the ingredient for you. I love the ingredient. Um, 
I'll try to update it in the comments. It'll be in the full review for sure. I literally just got permission to put this on the channel, so I want to get this list out. But um, got that old 80s dry down effect. That, that It's lasting. That's what lasts for 12 hours. Um, back to Indolic two rows, black leather. With it, it it's just... The first 10 minutes is, is real sweet, and then it just starts getting mean and nice and old and a ton of gravitas to this, a ton of Bruce Lee to this, if, if you know what I'm saying. He can be nice and calm in, in a split second's notice, man, kung fu all over you. That's what this is. All right, Road Perfumery. Floss Mortis on YouTube. Anybody that knows me knows this is probably going to be the list. Tower, Fi Un Rose, the Kandahar. Mm, look at the color on that juice. Summer Nights, yes, for sure. Yeah, Summer Nights, I'm addicted to, to Towerade. Um, he made me fall in love with Rose also. He's put powder against the Towerade. I love it. I think he can put anything against this tower rate, and I'd love it. it. It's just, if you don't own a tower, everybody knows about tower. This is my summer one, summer nights. I have so many memories with this. This is a photorealistic thing for me also. All right. Sylvain de Court Valkyrie. I haven't talked much about this, even though I love what she's doing. She, she spent... Tons and tons of time finding a vanilla that she loves. Um, so she has a musk line, a vanilla line. And literally this, the, the reason for for this, she this is the perfume. When I you talk about my, my channel, when I came up with a new category of why to have a perfume. This is the perfume that I put on to drive my daughter to school, to go get coffee in the morning. Basically, Saturday mornings, whatever, out of bed into public, to the office, whatever, um, just to have a scent on. And then this leaves such a beautiful dry down vanilla that any scent works with it. Her musks, same thing. I own a 15 ml of her Lang Lang musk, same thing. The dry down's just, she is one heck of a perfumer, one heck of a nose. The base layers she came up with in her fragrances are just divine and, um, that's my category for it. The opening of this is like none other. The three hours, so energetic. Um, I talked about it in my four for life video that I'd pick one of these for I think a week or whatever. My creative take of getting more than four fragrances for life. But anyways, Valkyrie, Sylvain de Corte. Um, I could have picked three or four from the vanilla line easily. This one's the, the top stuck out to me the most. You really buy in the base. And uh, she had a promotion where I got a, a travel size, two, two 15 mLs of the, or 10 or 15, I don't know. I have two of them. And oh, so I chose her muscle line also, so I have both. But for summer for this, waking up, getting out to the beach, whatever, just having a nice fragrance on, waking you up, that's my pick for her. All right. <laughs> the Beast. Bogue, Mim. I absolutely love lavender from the many vendors at our many farmers markets here in Portland. Coming up with lavender anything and everything. Tea, vinegar, incense, lotions for every part of the body. Salts, bouquets, chapsticks, ice cream sandwiches. Yes, they're awesome. Food. You get the picture. To the many fields I cycle past just to get free perfume in the air from the aromatic the lavender farms produce. Absolutely love the ingredient. Meat Bogue, the perfumer behind this. All the stuff I talk about on my channel is because I put my nose on this. I've had this for five months. Stuff like this. There, there are other companies, but he's one of them. He sits there, and this is a lavender like you've never smelled before. It's, it's three or four kinds of lavender in different ways, in different uses. 
part of it's drunk, part of it's floral, part of it's just sticking base to your skin. I can't describe what he did here. It, it's flat out. This is why I'm into perfume. This is why I am into this hobby is because I am putting my nose on stuff like this. Not kidding. He combines many, many smells of lavender to come up with an accord that is all his. He distills it himself. He plays with it himself. I'm talking about people have a bigger toolbox. This is why. People are like they're done with an ingredient here and over and over again. That's because those designers are buying the same ingredient for every perfume. Then you have these guys, sweat, soul, putting everything in the bottle, creating this stuff with one ingredient. There's so much more to be done. I'm trying, this is what I'm trying to push. When you say, when I say push perfumery forward, here we are. This is exactly what I mean. This is awesome stuff. We are just at the forefront of the golden age, the new golden age of perfumery. The designers had it in the 80s, 90s. There's some people springing up doing this stuff. And it takes extra work. They actually have to distill their ingredients. They have to play with their ingredients a lot more than anyone else, but they're coming up with stuff that's out of this world. So when people say they're sick of this ingredient, they have no idea. Somebody can turn that ingredient and make it something special. This is a lavender like you've never smelled before. I am happy to have this in my collection. Yes, it's up there with the EO2. Yes, I've been sitting on it. Yes, I've been hiding it. When I get excited about other things and what they could be, it's because I've smelt the bars and stuff like this. That's why I get a little cocky because I know this is there. I know it's there. And I'm pushing other people to do it too. There are people doing it. That's why my list is different. We're getting good perfume. Anyways, that ends my list. I'll have full review on this. It's almost got its five wearings. Anyways, as with me, bonuses, you have bonuses all the time. So um, I'll probably always have a lemon, lime, or citrus scent handy. I found some ateliers I, I like. I really don't own any of them. I'll wait till this bottle's gone. This has been my bottle. I literally, I, I mean, this just lasts forever. I do so many sprays of this. It's nuts. Nuts. Lacetane's Vervain. It's a Verbena lemon uh, scent. I found another uh, lemon scent. I, I can't wait to buy when this is out. If so, I found another uh, citrus mint scent that I like. But for what I use it for, I won't mix it up. So I'm, here's me being disciplined. So um, I always, in the summer, have this. This literally is a 90-minute scent. It's before I go cycling. Uh, it's literally just like a freshener on me. 90 minutes it is just a, a freshener to go on top of whatever. Talk about citrus top layers. This is my citrus top layer when they're burned off. I'll just apply this. And it, it'll, it'll, the, I mean, it even burns off quicker than that. But a full 90 minutes, I can't smell a thing anymore. I mean, it, but it burns off just as quick as citrus. That's my bonus. Keep a handy fresh atelier, make some good ones. I love this Verbena by L'Occitane to just freshen up my sense of the day. There's your bonus. Second bonus, come on, you guys, I have second bonuses. Um, I don't have any handy. They look like bottles like this, but Oud. Uh, I'm wearing my Oud all summer. I've worn more Oud the past three weeks than uh, any other uh, uh, week. And third bonus, it plays with Oud. They're, they're hand in hand, sandalwood. Um, because if you do want to put a fragrance on, they'll only enhance whatever fragrance you use. They're both base layers. They'll enhance what you have. They're natural oils. They'll help you. I have some really good stuff come up with Oud that I found about on accident. I've already posted one video. I'm finding more stuff on my own. 100% accidents. I'm not trying to make this stuff up. I had other directions to take the Oud, but this is happening for my wearings. So I'm going to report it. Um, look for that. Oud is my favorite ingredient. And perfumery. I don't know what my second is. I love ambergris. I love sandalwood. Um, they'd have to duke it out. Um, wearing alone, I guess it'd be sandalwood would be second, but um, in perfume, geez, just both of them are so good in perfume. All right, people, that's my summer list. How'd you like it? <laughs>
thanks for being here. I'm always going to switch things up. I'm always going to find things. When I do my list, it's the stuff I wear. It is the stuff I wear. I, I will get a bottle of grape. It will be bottles I have. Just know that. There is no, on my list, there's no freebies. To make my list, I'll do a review. review. I already went over on how I'm going to do the free bottle stuff. Um, take it or leave it. I'm going to be honest no matter what. But to make these lists, this is the stuff that's in my collection and I wear. Know that. Anyways, y'all, peace out.